Sugar Rush Peach is by far the most fun pepper to eat. I'm outside Shrek and Tim, and today's show is going to be you and I continuing to tackle this box of heat. There's a lot here. Um, now, these are given to me from a friend of mine. Um, he is a pepper grower. Uh, lives right down the road from me, actually. Um, long story short, him and another pepper grower that lives about maybe a half far away from me are possibly, maybe might be starting a pepper selling business uh, next year. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, he has a just a ton of array of peppers out there. A lot of the peppers I've never heard of. Um, so he gave me a bunch. Um, so let's start tackling these bad boys. All right, for one look at right here. This is the Sugar Rush Peach. Uh, what a rush. Now, as I said before, guys, um, I don't claim to be a competitive pepper eater. Um, if I've been asked to enter a pepper eating contest, I'll tell you right now, guys, I'd get my ass kicked. Um, I can't handle a lot of the super hots. Um, I do enjoy the heat. I do, I do enjoy the pepper flavors. Um, but like a lot of you guys out there, you guys can't handle the super hots either, right? Sometimes they're too hot, and this right here, <laughs> if you guys never felt the pepper or stomach cramp before, um, it sucks. <laughs> so I always say I'm a lover of all peppers. I do like the super hots, I love the milds, and I love the mediums. So let's check this one out here. All right, so again, this is the Sugar Rush Peach. So I went online here, and it says here, a sumptuous snacking pepper. Sugar Rush Peach is by far the most fun pepper to eat. See, gotta have fun in life, right? So continuing here, so the long peach colored fruits are packed with loads of super sweet tropical flavor. It says here that these peppers were bred by Chris Fowler of, of Wales. Um, I am friends with a lot of pepper growers. I'm not friends with Chris Fowler yet, so fair to check him out, look him up, right? So I went online again, and I found this here. So him and Kevin Forty actually have the Guinness Book of World Records for the longest. I'm guessing, guessing that's the longest pepper grown. So that's pretty cool. So Chris, congratulations! Uh, by the way, I did friend request you on Facebook, so hopefully you connect with me. So in the meantime, so I got two of these bad boys. Uh, speaking of a, a big long pepper, yeah, that's humongous. So I love the color. I'm not so tricky, Tim. Let's do this. Ooh, great crunch. Mmm. That's what I'm talking about. These are good. Very fruity, very tart, very sweet. A lot of seeds. They're damn good. Scoville heat units, let's check this out. All right, so the Scoville heat units are between 100,000 to 200,000. <clears> Guys, those are damn good. Um, those probably rank up there, probably my top three. Again, they're not super hot. Um, there's heat, but they're not super hot. So don't let the 100,000, 200,000 Scoville heat units scare you. Um, I mean, hello, I am outsource Junkie Tim. So heat tolerance is a little higher than the norm. Uh, but heat scale for me, I'm going to give it a two. The flavor, like I said, they are delicious. Um, so, again, come next grow season, if you guys are looking for peppers, uh, reach out to me, Instagram, Facebook, um, even on YouTube. Um, I will let you know if my friend is going to attempt to 
um, sort of business. And if you guys are looking for peppers, um, I'll let you know. Get a hold of me. Um, these are damn good. I, I they're good. They're not super hot. So um, anything. The first I'm thinking of is probably putting this maybe in some salsa just to add a little bit of a little bit of a kick to it. Um, but even if you guys and I mentioned before about uh, spicing up a fruit salad, you're probably thinking like, huh? If you try these, you're gonna understand what I'm talking about because the fruitiness is there, the citrus flavor is there, but there's a little bit of heat. Um, I think a fruit salad would be a spectacular idea. Till next time, hot sauce junkie Tim and Frito Pepper.